Welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Entertainment News on Channel Television. Now, veteran Nigerian filmmaker Ego Boyo joined forces with other filmmakers on the new docudrama that highlights the plight of women in the extractive industry. Details in this next report. Earth Women, a 30-minute dramatized documentary focused on community women, women artisanal refiners, miners, women leaders, as well as male members of communities hosting oil, gas and mining industries, premiered in Lagos to an audience of filmmakers, petroleum industry experts, among others. The documentary is expected to draw attention to themes revolving around gender-based violence and other issues faced by women in artisanal mining and exploration. Bekeme Masade Oluwola is the founder and chief executive of CSR in Action Group. We've been working on sustainability in the extractive industries for over 10 years now and the most recent major intervention that we did was our community engagement standards. We went around to different communities uh, with oil and gas resources across the country and you know we had community meetings, we talked to businesses, we talked to governments and then there was something that stood out in all of these engagements. We saw that we could not get women to actually be present at these meetings that would determine the fate of these communities. And every time that we asked, um, we would hear that they either didn't have enough women leaders or that the women didn't want to participate, meaning that they felt like they were not worth being at the table. And so we thought that we would create an opportunity to tell the story that women actually face in this community. So people assume that when communities have uh, mineral resources, then you know everybody's living the life, but it's not the case, especially for women um, who have to suffer and bear the brunt of the negative impacts of uh, these activities in the communities. And I feel like that us as Africans, particularly us African women, have a responsibility to tell our stories, and this is just one avenue. The docudrama was created in partnership with organizations such as Ford Foundation and Nollywood stars such as Dolapo Adelike, the creative director, Ego Boyo, an executive producer on the project. Sometimes you read about these things, but until someone actually, sometimes someone has actually sits you down and sort of talk about these things, and I was just like, oh my goodness, of course, these are the challenges that they face, not being able to feed their children because the soil is polluted by, by oil. You know, gas, like you saw in the film, being a factor in that child's death. Infertility, the fact that women not being able to provide for their families means that that community is, you know, unable to provide not only for its young in terms of feeding, but also in education. So things like this, when it impacts women, it is of interest to me. And then as a filmmaker, knowing that the power of film, being able to have those visual images, the powerful images of the women talking about what they're experiencing, the, hearing their voices, seeing the actual people that are being impacted speaking, it was something that I knew would be, you know, wonderful to capture on film. Wonderful in the sense of us being able to utilize that material to tell the story we want to tell and to make the changes we hope to make. So for me, once women were involved and, you know, I was, I was sold. Several individuals and organizations were honored with awards at the event. The project, which started in September 2020, is known as City Woman, an offshoot of a 10-year-old sustainability in the extractive industries, CITE, initiative, aiming to reach 20,000 women with the objective of tactfully questioning and reversing the norms that have culturally and systematically hampered women's progress in host communities in Nigeria. We don't know that there is a problem. I doesn't want to remember. 